true greatness. There was once a king who was very proud and arrogant. One day, he asked his advisor, Is there anyone who is happier, kinder, and greater than me? To the king's surprise, the advisor said, Oh, yes, your majesty, there are. The king couldn't believe him, so he said, I want to see such people with my own eyes. The next day they dressed up as commoners, and the advisor took the king to see a man who lived at the far end of the kingdom in a small hut. He was an old man who wore tattered clothes and didn't have many possessions. Upon seeing his condition, the king laughed and said, <laughs> How can a man so poor be happier and more generous than me? <laughs> the advisor only told him to be patient and observe. The old man greeted them and humbly invited them into his hut. He quickly went inside to find something to feed his guests. On coming out, he said, God is so kind. He must have known you were coming. <laughs> we have so much food today. Let us meditate in gratitude for what we have been given. So, they sat calmly for a while and thanked God. Then the old man said, Open your eyes and enjoy the meal. They opened their eyes to see that there was only half a banana and a small piece of chapati served before them. The king got angry. He was used to eating the finest of all foods, served on gold plates. The advisor again calmed him down. Shh! Don't blow our cover yet. Just eat the food. The king could hardly believe what he was about to do. He took a bite of the banana and chewed. He kept chewing for several minutes, but could not finish that one bite. In a long time, he finally swallowed it, but he was so full. He couldn't even think of eating that little piece of chapati left on the plate. The king started to realize that a miracle was happening. And their host was not just a poor old man as he thought him to be. His pride disappeared and he felt humbled. He prostrated himself at the old man's feet and said, Forgive me, great one. I'm nothing compared to you. I want to learn from you. I cannot be a king anymore. You are a much greater man than I am. Who am I anyway? The compassionate old man helped him up and explained to him, You are the king, and that is what you must be. I am a messenger of God, and that is what I must be. There is something that each of us can do, though. What is it? asked the king. We can all be kind to everyone we meet. We can be compassionate to all people and see everyone as a part of the most loving God. The king thanked the old man several times and went back to his palace as a much wiser and better man. He learned that being grateful for what we have and seeing God in everything is what marks true greatness.